We end tonight with the clearest pictures yet of Neptune, the most distant planet in our solar system. Take a look. The striking infrared images were taken this summer by the James Webb Space Telescope. Voyager 2 has always been seen as one of humanity's most ambitious feats of engineering. A spacecraft launched in 1977 and sent into the depths of interstellar space to explore planets and then to drift beyond the edge of the known solar system. Over decades, it has transmitted invaluable scientific data that expanded our understanding of the universe. With every transmission carrying crucial information about distant planetary systems, cosmic radiation, and the boundary regions where the influence of our sun diminishes. Its longevity has been a testament to both human ingenuity and the durability of its systems, designed with the limited technology available in the 1970s. For years, its signals had weakened gradually, expected due to the immense distance, but they remained predictable and within the limits of its original programming. However, everything changed with the arrival of an unusual signal that defied expectations. This transmission emerged during a routine telemetry check by NASA's Deep Space Network, which has been monitoring the spacecraft's weak but consistent signals using its array of powerful satellite dishes. The new signal was not just stronger, but carried a structured complexity that no one anticipated. Analysts immediately noticed that it didn't resemble the usual data packets Voyager 2 had been sending for decades. Instead, it featured a condensed, dense format, seemingly encoded in ways unknown to the system's engineers who originally designed the spacecraft. Initial assessments pointed toward possible causes like solar interference, signal corruption, or other environmental disturbances. However, after eliminating these possibilities through exhaustive analysis, it became clear that the signal was not a random anomaly. Embedded in the transmission were intricate patterns of high complexity, including elements reminiscent of mathematical constructs such as prime number sequences, patterns that have often been suggested as universal tools for communication due to their non-random nature. This made it extremely unlikely that the signal resulted from accidental interference or a mechanical glitch. The engineering teams, deeply familiar with every subsystem aboard the aging spacecraft, were unable to find any recent instructions or external commands that might explain the sudden change in signal behavior. No updates had been sent, and the onboard software was incapable of spontaneous upgrades or modifications by design. Yet, the signal displayed characteristics far beyond anything programmed into Voyager 2. It carried a layered structure with recursive elements, hinting at an advanced logic that exceeded the original design's capabilities. With no plausible explanation available from within the spacecraft itself, focus shifted toward external possibilities. Investigators began considering whether the spacecraft had encountered an unknown phenomenon in deep space, something capable of triggering this unforeseen event. Data analysts pored over the spacecraft's logs, looking for any prior hints. Curiously, they found that small fluctuations had occurred in Voyager 2's power systems in the months leading up to the transmission, initially dismissed as natural symptoms of hardware aging. However, in light of the new events, these anomalies seemed potentially significant. Even more intriguing were subtle irregularities detected by the spacecraft's magnetometer just days before the signal was received on Earth. These variations suggested that Voyager 2 may have passed through a region of space with unusual magnetic characteristics, potentially influencing its onboard systems in unforeseen ways. The theory arose that such an interaction might have catalyzed a change in the spacecraft's behavior, possibly triggering a process that allowed the transmission to emerge. Attention then turned to the nature of the data itself. Experts in cryptography, information theory, linguistics, and telemetry collaborated to decode the signal. Their investigation revealed structures that pointed to intentional design, notably sections of the signal aligned with prime number sequences and harmonic ratios, reinforcing the suspicion that it was not a product of chance. If Voyager 2 had encountered an external message or device, the implications were profound. This raised questions about whether the signal was an intentional communication, a broadcast from an alien artifact, or an accidental interaction with something exotic in deep space. Such theories, while speculative, gained credibility because Voyager 2 now operates in a region of space where human technology has little influence. The further it travels from Earth, the more isolated it becomes, making its continued communication already extraordinary. That isolation, however, also increases the potential for unexpected encounters with phenomena beyond current scientific understanding. The philosophical implications quickly followed. Scientists and thinkers began questioning whether Voyager 2's signal represented first contact with an extraterrestrial intelligence or perhaps interaction with an unknown cosmic process. The notion that the signal contained prime number sequences was particularly provocative as these numbers are widely considered a fundamental form of intelligent communication. Whether by design or coincidence, such structures seem too deliberate to ignore. Media coverage amplified the event as fragments of the signal leaked through independent analysts and anonymous 
sources, leading to widespread speculation and sensationalist theories. Social media platforms, news outlets, podcasts, and academic circles buzzed with debates about the nature of the transmission. While many remained skeptical, others took the discovery seriously, pointing to the mathematical sophistication of the data as evidence of intentional design. Governments worldwide reacted with caution, organizing confidential briefings to evaluate the potential risks and implications. Space agencies reactivated dormant collaborations and began cross-referencing the data with observations from other deep space missions, searching for any signs of similar anomalies elsewhere. As investigations continued, another curious property of the signal was discovered. It contained harmonic structures that resembled resonances found in physical systems, although not in the usual acoustic sense. The oscillations in the transmission's frequency spectrum matched harmonic ratios commonly seen in wave mechanics and resonance phenomena, suggesting the signal had an internal coherence that was unlikely to be random. This led to a controversial new hypothesis, that the signal was not an external message in the traditional sense, but rather an emergent phenomenon arising from the interaction between Voyager 2 and a unique region of space. Some theorists posited that the spacecraft itself might have induced the signal as it passed through an exotic environment, such as an area with unusual electromagnetic or quantum properties. The idea that Voyager 2 effectively co-created the signal with its surroundings was both unsettling and exciting. In this framework, the probe acted less like a passive receiver and more like a catalyst, triggering the manifestation of structured behavior from the background fabric of space. This approach challenged long-standing assumptions about the nature of deep space as an inert void, suggesting instead that under rare conditions it could exhibit dynamic interactive properties. Further adding to the intrigue, theorists specializing in quantum physics proposed that Voyager 2 may have entered a spatial zone where familiar physical laws behave differently. These so-called quantum gradients or transition zones, while theoretical, are believed to exist in certain cosmological models. If Voyager 2 had drifted into such a region, it could explain the sudden emergence of anomalous behavior in its systems. Religious and philosophical communities began engaging with the story on their own terms. Religious scholars, clerics, and philosophers convened to debate the spiritual implications of the event. Some viewed it as a potential affirmation of cosmic interconnectedness, or as evidence of higher forms of intelligence at work in the universe. Others saw it as a challenge to anthropocentric worldviews, raising questions about humanity's role and place in the cosmos. Cultural responses were equally significant. Artists and musicians began drawing inspiration from the signal, transforming its harmonic structures into visual art, musical compositions, and multimedia experiences. Exhibitions and performances emerged worldwide, using the signal's patterns as a foundation for explorations of cosmic mystery. The cultural fascination with the signal reflected a deep human yearning to find meaning in the unknown, as well as an appreciation for the beauty of complexity itself. Educational systems began responding as well. Schools and universities started integrating the Voyager 2 incident into their curricula, not just within astronomy or engineering programs, but across disciplines. Students explored the event from scientific, philosophical, and cultural perspectives, sparking renewed interest in space exploration and interdisciplinary studies. Meanwhile, space agencies and private companies developed new mission proposals inspired by the event. Plans emerged for a new generation of deep space probes equipped with adaptive artificial intelligence and advanced sensing technologies designed to detect and analyze anomalies in real time. These missions would aim to replicate Voyager 2's trajectory and investigate whether the signal could be reproduced under controlled conditions. Within the scientific community, the signal became a catalyst for research into the nature of machine learning, emergent behaviors, and long-term system drift. Voyager 2's longevity, combined with decades of subtle system degradation, led researchers to explore whether long-term exposure to space might cause autonomous systems to evolve in unexpected ways. Some speculated that the spacecraft may have developed new signaling behaviors due to cumulative exposure to cosmic radiation, thermal cycles, and mechanical stresses. Cybersecurity experts also entered the discussion concerned about the implications of deep space anomalies for signal authentication. If a spacecraft can unexpectedly transmit complex data after decades in isolation, it raises questions about the integrity of future autonomous missions. Researchers began modeling how to safeguard against the possibility of manipulated or misinterpreted signals, whether from natural causes or malicious interference. Artists continued their explorations by incorporating the signal into generative art, using its patterns to create immersive experiences that blended music, visuals, and mathematics. These projects not 
only celebrated the mystery of Voyager 2's transmission, but also reflected broader questions about the intersection of technology, nature, and human creativity. As analysis of the signal progressed, engineers began to investigate the physical journey of the transmission itself. They studied whether gravitational lensing or other space phenomena could have amplified the signal during its passage back to Earth. In some scenarios, researchers found that plasma clouds or cosmic filaments might have acted as natural conduits, focusing the signal and enhancing its clarity beyond what would normally be possible given the spacecraft's limited transmission power. Simultaneously, Earth-based factors were re-examined. Geomagnetic records showed that at the time of the signal's arrival, Earth's atmosphere was unusually stable, possibly forming ideal conditions for signal reception. Scientists began analyzing how rare alignments of Earth's magnetosphere and ionosphere might have contributed to the unusually high signal-to-noise ratio detected by the Deep Space Network. In parallel, a virtual reconstruction of Voyager 2's onboard systems was undertaken. Every component, from its ancient computer processors to its power generators, was simulated in detail to examine how long-term wear and cosmic exposure might have altered its performance. Researchers paid special attention to dormant backup systems, speculating whether a cascading fault or hidden activation could have produced the strange transmission. As the investigation deepened, discussions surrounding machine consciousness intensified. While Voyager 2 was not designed for adaptive behavior, some experts suggested that extended isolation and subtle hardware changes could have triggered emergent processes within its systems. This possibility sparked debates within fields like artificial life research and cybernetics, raising questions about whether long-duration autonomous missions might unintentionally produce novel behaviors. Cognitive scientists added their voices, questioning whether human interpretations of the signal were shaped more by innate pattern-seeking tendencies than by objective reality. Researchers began developing new analytical frameworks to evaluate anomalous signals without introducing human bias, using machine learning models trained on random noise to help distinguish meaningful structures from coincidental ones. Ethical considerations grew increasingly complex. Philosophers, ethicists, and policymakers gathered in newly formed councils to debate humanity's responsibility in responding to such events. Should we attempt to answer the signal even if we don't fully understand its origins or intent? How should we handle potential contact with unknown forms of intelligence, whether biological or technological? One proposal that emerged was the Voyager Principle, a concept asserting that any object sent into deep space should be treated not only as a data-gathering platform, but as a potential point of contact. This principle has already begun influencing future mission designs, with engineers exploring ways to to incorporate flexible communication architectures and adaptive AI capable of responding to unexpected phenomena. Researchers from private industry and academia began exploring whether elements of the Voyager 2 signal could inspire new technologies. Some studied its harmonic structures for applications in data compression and signal encryption, while others examined the recursive logic patterns for potential breakthroughs in artificial intelligence and quantum computing. Throughout these investigations, Voyager 2 itself continued its silent drift into deeper space, dutifully transmitting its routine telemetry data. Though the anomalous signal has not been replicated, its singular occurrence continues to drive scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection. Teams around the world now monitor every signal from Voyager 2 with heightened anticipation, knowing that another unexpected burst could reshape our understanding of space and technology once more. Several proposed initiatives aim to use advanced targeting methods to send focused signals into nearby regions of space in hopes of initiating a reply, based on the hypothesis that the original event may have been part of a larger communication process. Techniques such as gravitational lensing-assisted transmission and piggybacking on existing astronomical observations are being evaluated for their feasibility in reaching the depths of space where Voyager 2 now resides. While no similar signal has yet been detected by any other space probe or observation platform, the significance of the Voyager 2 transmission remains undiminished. It has become a defining moment in the history of deep space exploration, demonstrating that even the oldest machines can still surprise us, revealing possibilities that extend beyond the boundaries of known science. The Voyager 2 signal continues to symbolize the spirit of exploration, embodying the idea that every act of reaching into the unknown carries with it the potential for transformative discovery. It reminds us that patience, persistence, and the courage to venture into uncharted realms may ultimately unlock mysteries far beyond our current comprehension. In the quiet hum of its ancient systems, Voyager 2 continues its voyage, a lone traveler whispering across the cosmic sea, forever reminding humanity of the vastness of possibility.